So what do the Spurs do after becoming only the second team to win 67 or more games in the regular season but fail to reach the conference finals? They throw not a pity party, but a costume party. Boris Diaw posted a photo on Instagram from the Spurs' end of the season fiesta with this caption. Still celebrating a historical season with the team. It was a great ride. Hashtag Sunday fun day. Hashtag mad Monday. His hashtag game is really strong. So Skip, I'm going to have to go to you on this one. Yeah, you are. Do you have a problem with this? Yeah, I, I have a huge problem with this if it actually happened. And I'm serious. I still have my doubts that that wasn't just some Halloween costume party picture that Boris posted. I, I need more That's verification. I need. I do. I am hoping. <laughs> well, Manu, Patty Mills, and Danny Green, they were tagged in the photo. Nobody else, but at least those three. If that oh, happens. you can see Manu dressed up like an Egyptian. I, I don't know. I don't know if it happened over the If it happened over the weekend, I'm hurt by it. Because wow. I, I got to tell you, seriously, from my heart, in all my years of rooting for my teams, my Oklahoma Sooners, my Dallas Cowboys, my San Antonio Spurs, I've been a fan. New since England the Patriots. 80s. In, in a way, but but they're they're newer to me. I'm a Brady fan more than I'm a Patriots fan. That's just been through the Brady years. Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up loving New England the way I sort of grew up loving all these teams and okay. Spurs from the 80s on. I have never been more devastated than I was by what I witnessed, and I still can't comprehend happened in Game Six. Again, up 19 to 13 in a game they opened as a two-and-a-half-point favorite to win, heavily favored to win the whole series against the Thunder. Felt like, looked like they were in command of game six at Oklahoma City, and suddenly they went colder than Coach Pop's heart during those sidelines between quarters interviews. Mm -hmm. Colder than his heart when he is so condescending to poor reporters who dare to ask him a legitimate question. In, in this case, they went five for 28 over a stretch the last four minutes of the first quarter and the whole second quarter. Five for 28, and they lost 42 to 12 in that stretch, and the season was over. And it, I still can't sleep because of it. I'm serious about this. That's how shook up I was over that cold stretch that I still can't explain. And then I have to see a picture posted by a guy in Boris Diaw who wound up, I guess, so deep in Pop's doghouse he didn't even get on the floor during game six when during the year he had been instant offense for my Spurs time and time again. And it even had a flurry in this series in which he came in and immediately scored 10 quick points. I don't know what happened. And yet he's doing Sunday fun day. What a great year. We had 67 wins. H how can you snap out of it and celebrate a season that ended so disgustingly, so painfully? There, if I were on that team, Maybe I would have a quiet little going away party for everybody. I don't know if it's Tim and, and Manu's last hurrah. Maybe you'd have a party with them, but a costume party? I don't get a Halloween style party. How, how could you dredge up the emotion to go look for a costume within 24 to, to 36 hours where you got to go find something quickly? I don't know, but it, it hurts me. It offends me if, in fact, that happened over the weekend. Let's be realistic, Skip. <clears throat> You're upset because they won 67 games in the regular season, lost 15. They're the second best team basically from start to finish behind the Golden State Warriors. But I can make a case of the 67 win teams in NBA history. They're the second worst behind maybe the Mavericks that lost to the Miami Heat. They won 67 games. That's what you're upset about, Skip. In actuality, if you look at it from top to bottom, OKC is a better football, is a better basketball team. You know that. I don't Tim, know Tim, that. Tim, I guess mean, didn't know that. The odds makers didn't know that. How, the, how do you explain their hey, two and a half point favorite at Oklahoma City in Game Six? How do you the, explain that? Is that the same Vegas that had the Broncos as four point underdogs to Carolina? That okay, same upsets Vegas. Upsets happened. So an upset happened. Upsets happen. How do you upset somebody in a best of seven? You can't get lucky four times, Skip. One game, one game, I give that to you. One game, anything can happen. We see it in NCAA championship. See what the refs we did see. at the end of game five oh. at San Antonio. Did you see how they, yeah, okay. they the, the NBA right. admitted it, two calls were blown they, in the last one minute the, 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 of the game. Changed the whole Kawhi, dynamic. Kawhi did foul. Westbrook. Well, before that, Danny yeah. Green got called for a foul when he got tripped by Steven Adams. It was blatant, and it should have gone the other way. Okay, what about the other three games, Skip? You're talking about one game, Skip. That's what's so upsetting to you is that they won 67 games, and they went out in the second round. Now, if they had won 50 games, you wouldn't be in this funk, would you? Tell the truth. Well, 
All I know tell is the that truth I'm, and shame I'm the devil. Telling, tell shame the devil. Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. I thought this team could challenge Golden State to win the West. I wasn't sure it could beat Golden State, but I was dead sure it could beat the Oklahoma City Thunder because it had during the regular season, and inevitably Westbrook and Durant turn it over too much late in games. And right on schedule in the game with the two blown calls, they handed the game they back did. to they right, did. right on schedule. First Kevin Durant, then Russell Westbrook. Yes. Here, take the game from us. And my guys could not close because Tony Parker missed two rushed late clock jump shots that he usually makes. No, the young Tony Parker made those jump shots. You know what? Not this Tony Parker. Manu Ginobili is a shell of himself. He's so not is Tim, a shell of himself. So you know what? Tim he was Duncan. their closer all year. You don't watch him Stop, during the year. Skip, you don't watch him. Closer. Tim, Tim Duncan, no closer. I can show you the second level numbers. Tim Duncan was one of the best defenders in the league when you do real plus minus stats. He was, I think, second best defensively in the NBA last year. It, and again, you have to do it per minutes played. He was as good a rim protector as he has ever been. They were the number one defensive team in the NBA. And they were a highly efficient three-point shooting team. And they lost it because they fell into the LaMarcus Aldridge trap. He made 33 of his first 44 shots in the first two games. And they kept lobbing the ball into him and losing all their ball movement that they used to thrive on. Okay. And all of a sudden, LaMarcus came up small when it mattered most. Okay. Watch my eyes skip. To the left. To the right, running around. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm doing with your argument. Skip, you have a very good point. I got good news and bad news. You got you make a very good point. In real plus minus, if you project it out over 48 minutes in the regular season, Tim Duncan was good. So was Manu. He was the second best shooting guard in the league if you project out over 36 minutes. But the bad news, the only really good point that you have is on top of your head. Mm -hmm. That doesn't do anything for it. Skip, they won 67 games. It happens. It's just like the just like the Patriots. They won 18 games. It didn't end well. You look at uh, Carolina. They were 15 and one going into the Super Bowl. But that's it. It happens. You know Skip, it's okay. To your point. And I'm gonna maybe, be back maybe tomorrow. This costume and party, bust you up. Maybe, maybe this costume party says it all. Maybe they were just happy to get that far. That's all I know. I'm taking a what selfie. Me and Prim. Take a selfie? Me and Prim taking a selfie. More first take after the break. You're gonna post it? Wait, maybe I don't know you'll have 30,000 followers. <laughs> you put print no, on. he's gonna lose followers because of that. Uh, All right, let's wrap that one up. More first take after the break. We are down to four. In the West, we've got Steph Curry and the Warriors as they continue their journey in defending their title as they take on the Thunder. And then in the East, LeBron James is seeking his sixth consecutive NBA Finals appearance. But first, the Cavs must take care of the Raptors. Now, according to Vegas odds makers, this is no surprise here, the Warriors are the favorites to repeat as champs. LeBron and company, they're right behind them. So, Shannon, let's go to you first. Last block, you said Golden State in six over OKC. So, spinning it all the way forward, who do you think is going to walk away with this year's NBA title? You going to pound on this one? You, you need to yeah. pound harder. The king. <laughs> Believe, Lane. Who's the king, Steph? You know who oh. the king is. This is the most talented team he's been a part of. Yes, he won two. LeBron times. James is going to win the title. Absolutely, 1,000%. He won two titles in Miami. D. Wade and Bosch, we know what he had. Ray Allen hit some great shots. He's never had a team this deep. They go 9-10 deep. We know what their starters are. And then they come with Channing Frye, Richard Jefferson, Iman Shumford, Matthew Della Vadova. They can also get you 12, 15 minutes with Mo Williams. They're deep. What I love most about this, this basketball team, Skip, is that LeBron James doesn't have to carry the bucket of load of scoring, the bucket of the load of rebounding, He's going to lead the insists because he, that's what he does. But they've managed his minutes. Skip, it's, it's a done deal. Book it. Book, Book it, it. done deal. <laughs> I, I'm, Cavs in four in the finals. I'm already, I got to look at the schedule and see when the final game is. I'm booking my trip to Cleveland. I'm going to the parade. You're going to the I'm parade? I'm going to the parade. Wow, I, Shannon. I did not know this about you. I'm going to the parade. When did you become such a big <laughs> LeBron lover? I've always been, I follow LeBron. I'm following Bro He go to Miami, I went to Miami. He went back to Cleveland, I'm back in Cleveland. If he leaves and goes Sixers, well, maybe not that far. But if he goes to another team, I'm riding with him. I'm riding shotgun with LeBron James. Really? And guess what? You and I are going to have on fire. We're going to drive a fire truck because we're going to be leading the parade. You're going to be leading the parade. Uh, uh, yeah. Down Main Street, Cleveland, yeah, Ohio. Yes. Mm. I think you're going to be by yourself in the <laughs> Because nobody's, it's just Cavs you. Island. Yeah. Believe Land. Believe did you Land. see, did you see the doc, documentary? Yeah, 
Awesome. Okay, it's gonna happen, Skip. It, it's not only is it not going to happen, Golden State will win easily in the finals also. Golden State is on a mission to get revenge on not just LeBron, but on, on everybody who tainted their run to the championship last year, including me. I made the mistake right after the finals, on, on the day after, I tweeted that, that their run to the finals, run to the championship, mm -hmm. deserved an asterisk because they kept lucking into playing teams whose point guard was injured. All the way up to the finals, obviously, Kyrie, overtime, injury, loss for the rest of the finals. Obviously, Kevin Love was gone right. early in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. So Steph responded me, to me quickly on Twitter you know, and told me that I better be careful about what, what noise I'm talking because I'm paraphrasing what he said, because they will prove to everyone next year, which is now, yeah. that it was no fluke what they pulled off against an injured Cavs team. So I think they are driven. I think they are obsessed with the notion of showing everyone they can beat the Cavs at full strength. And I do not believe that LeBron, even with his best supporting cast, his deepest supporting cast, can beat this team. So while LeBron has had the easiest run to the finals I've ever seen a superstar have, because by the way, you know, Detroit, you know, no, you know, and then Mm -hmm. It's last series. Detroit, Atlanta, Detroit played them tough in the regular know. season now. I know, but it, it, it wasn't much, and they didn't have to really break a sweat. And, and then, finally, here comes Toronto without its big man. Valanchunas is, I, I, I don't know, he's iffy at best. He's got a bad ankle, so he missed the rest of this, this past series against Miami. Yes. And if they don't have Valanchunas, it's not a fair fight anymore. So I, I do not fair. see. Why do you keep saying fair? You know what a fair is? It just doesn't match A fair up. is where you go buy candy apples, okay. cotton candy, <laughs> and ride like the Stephen Ferris a, wheel. Except that, that's what you do at the fair. It's, it, wait, Stephen A's line is it's a place where you judge pigs, except that's not his <laughs> line. It's actually Jeff in Long Beach's line that Stephen A uses. Hi, Jeff. How are you? But this is what I want because I believe the Cavaliers win this series against the, Ra the Raptors in five, in five games, four Okay, I, I got it in four. And... I'm I, this is the matchup I want to see on the court. I want to see Channing Fry at f uh, five. I want to see uh, Kevin Love at four, LeBron at the three, Jay Smith at two, mm -hmm. Kyrie against any lineup they throw out there. Okay. Well, we'll see that. And, and LeBron has played big and played well. And just like, and just like uh, uh, Golden State stumbled into that lineup with, uh, with Iguodala when they was behind by so much and they almost came back and got him, they stumbled on this lineup against Atlanta in game three. They stumbled upon it. Tyron Lou found something. He can go to this big lineup because he has a guy that can a stretch five, mm -hmm. which you've, you don't see very many stretch fives, but he's a stretch five that can get, has three-point okay, range. I hear all I that. like this. I hear all that. We're having a parade okay, in Cleveland. Have you been listening Are and watching? Are you coming to the parade? No, I'm not okay. because there won't be one. But ha have you been listening and watching what LeBron has been doing to rattle the cage of the Golden State Warriors <laughs> and Steph Curry? He's been discounting the validity of Steph's unanimous MVP because there are different different ways he says to define what an no, MVP whether it, is, more valuable to your team, the, or just the best player. The voters use different arguments yes. when they want to give someone a vote. Okay. The guy used the argument where, look where they would be if they didn't have Carmelo Anthony, or look where they would be if they didn't have, 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 have Allen Iverson. Mm -hmm. So now all of a sudden, it's hard, it's hard. The guy went, they won 73 games. He hit 400 and over 400 threes. He scored 30, played less than 35 minutes. It's hard to make the argument. But the one thing I am concrete on him, Steve Kerr didn't deserve to be coach of the year. Okay. They won and 30, LeBron they, also made a case they, that, they went, that hold Terry Stotts should they, have been coach. They won 39 games without you. Mm -hmm. So if, are you really that good of a coach or is the team really that good? Because they won more games without you than they did when they had you. Okay, keep talking. So you, you know what you're doing? You are inflating the chip on Steph Curry's shoulder with every word that you say. And you know here. what? Every time you say LeBron James has lost four finals and no great player has ever lost four finals, he has a chip too. And Uncle Drew, Kyrie coming back, Kevin Love, 18 and 13 rebounds. Mm -hmm. Skip, it's going to happen. And then what are you going to say? 
What are you going to say what when I'm it happens? What I'm going to say to you right now is, I'm glad you brought this up because LeBron James, the king as you call him, king. is two and four in the NBA the Finals. King. And he's going to fall to Three two and, and five. And if he does, that means two and five. That means that five out of seven NBA Finals, LeBron James will have lost. You don't think that will taint his resume? And I must make the case. If Ray Allen doesn't make the greatest clutch shot I have ever seen in my life against my Spurs from the corner to force overtime in game six, you remember yeah. that? If, if Ray Allen, if that lips out, we are having a conversation in which LeBron James is now one and five at this point, looking at one and six at this point. If, you keep using if. Okay, well, Ray Allen saved well, his legacy. If, if a dog. If a Am dog, I right? No, if a dog had a square yeah. butt, it would poop blocks. Okay. What about Jerry West? Jerry West <laughs> oh is one. In, Jerry West yeah. is one in eight I was not prepared in for that finals. One. He had the logo. Mm -hmm. Did it taint his legacy? Nope. But nobody cared. Nobody called him the king. They, and, they, and, and, and they and, better not and, have and, called and, anybody else the king. And, and here's LeBron what James is me the about king. You. When you're riding shotgun with most players that you root for, right. they're they're tough guys. They're mentally tough guys. I'm, I'm here to tell you, I'm on the record, Steph Curry is mentally tougher than LeBron James. I don't care. Bingo. Guess what? He's going to be what? one and one in the finals. Okay, we'll see about that. Bingo. What, what, how can you love a guy like a LeBron James who has come apart so much under pressure, especially in that finals against Dallas? Magic how Johnson, do you explain Magic that? Johnson came apart in the he finals. He didn't come apart. He just lost to Larry Bird. That's all that happened. <laughs> oh, he didn't come apart. In the paper, they called him tragic. Yeah. Do you remember that? I you probably wrote well. the headline. I was head there. You probably I wrote the headline. Yeah, yeah. The king. Yeah, the king. Hey, Cleveland. I'm surprised. Get my you. fire truck ready. Mm -hmm. Have it gassed up. Uh, Why does it have to be a fire truck? Because I want to drive a fire truck. I always wanted to <laughs> yeah, be a fireman. It's, your, it's like a childhood dream, or yeah. Because I'm gonna okay. put this. All right. Somebody got to put this fire. I gotta be honest. Yeah. I didn't listen. I didn't hear anything you said after you said mention a dog with a square butt. <laughs> and then I was told that guess who's trending on Twitter? You. But then after that whole comment, there's no no wonder why you're trending on Twitter. What's he trending on Twitter for? I don't know. Busting you up, Skip. Uh, busting me up. Busting you up. Oh, okay. We we're talking about square butts and all. Okay, <laughs> well, shall we move on and go back to the NFL? Yes. They've had more starting QBs than any other team in the NFL over the last decade, and now it seems RG3 will get his shot with the Browns. But will we see the same RG3 as we saw back in Washington? We will discuss next.